What's up, beautiful people? In this video, we will be gardening in the raised bed garden for a change. I'm gonna take a break from the grow bags this video. However, we will be growing something new in the garden that we haven't grown before, and that is asparagus. Great people, let's grow! What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's up, great people? How y'all doing today? My name is Ricky Jones Jr. and welcome to this channel in which you can learn all different things about gardening, okay? So if you're interested about gardening, first time gardener, curious gardener, or let me just see what this is all about, this is the channel for you. So go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that red button, turn it to a gray button as you have now officially joined the family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I love you, love you, love you. Now, like I said in the beginning, we will be gardening in the raised bed garden in my square foot raised bed garden, which all of my raised beds are square foot garden and we will be growing some asparagus for the first time. I also have some spinach that I haven't grown in the garden before as well as some handy dandy beans because you can't have enough beans to put nitrogen into the soil which will help push and promote growth in the asparagus as well as the spinach and the other leafy greens and the raised beds okay. So let's go ahead and get into it and let me show you that you can do it too. Let's grow! All right, great people. So we are going to start off with growing our spinach and our square foot gardening. So as you can see, I have a PVC pipe watering system that I did do a video on the setup of it if you are curious about it and for it. And in each square foot, you can grow nine spinach plants, which is similar to beans. However, what I'm going to do is plant four as I did four of the arugula right here. I'm going to do four of my spinach plants, which it's cool because even with the spinach not all of the seeds germinated which does take place so don't fret if you're new to gardening and you're growing from seed don't be worried if all of your seeds do not sprout and what we call germinate all is well some do some don't but you learn to love them nonetheless okay and so now i'm just going to get all of my spinach plants out of the seed tray before planting these bad boys into their new home in which I also do have some worm castings that I'm going to put into the holes that is going to help with the fertilization of this new home get it all nice and acclimated and warm and cozy <laughs> to where it will now grow which I'm excited for and about because I, like I said I haven't even grown spinach before and so I'm curious to see how it does and so forth and so on. I believe this; these are the um, Great American, I believe is what it's called. Once I had like three different variety of spinach that I grew, and so I honestly did not label which was which, which obviously if you're growing from seed and you wanna know which is which, be sure to label your uh, marker when you plant your seed, because when you go to put it in the ground, time will be in between seed and uh, planting and so which also could lead to forgetting like myself but nonetheless hey you can learn from me and so just going ahead and making another hole getting some of my worm castings out putting the plant right in here or the seedling right on in here making sure everything is nice and level out as well and just moving on to the next it's just that simple it's just that easy Again, great people, this is something that you can do or you can call us out, garden with me out to you and we will be sure to do this for you, okay? Make your life easier so that you could just come on out, get your harvest, cook your food and go on about your business, okay? You can leave this dirt stuff to me or people like me that love to be out here. All right, so we have our spinach already out here now. And so what I look to do is do some beans over here, which as you can see in this raised bed, we have some spinach now, some arugula, some snap peas. And now I'm just gonna plant four bean plants in the soil here. And again, I grew these indoors as well from seed, which, I mean, it's been working out for me thus far. With my new grow lights that I did an unboxing for. You can be sure to definitely check that out if you haven't already done so. If you're interested in grow lights, I do recommend my latest one. 
for you to you because it has done wonders for me all right so get some worm castings again which it has a nice healthy root ball system which of course is what you want i did these very well this time <laughs> not having them too leggy which my other bean plants were i learned to keep the light closer to the plant as opposed to further off which they were before which will help in the legginess or lack thereof which we don't want in our bean plants so now i'm just making that hole there putting my worm castings down just gonna bury that right in there and if you didn't notice i am using the uh mat the gardener's mat which i talked about in um christmas guarding or christmas gifts for gardeners video i am using it because i am on a knee to do this as i am gardening in the raised bed so again great gift idea it will be useful and necessary for all of your gardening friends gardening loved ones or people that are just giving it a try and you want to encourage them it'll be a wonderful wonderful gift all right so we have four in there which technically i could do another which i will hey why not let's go ahead and put one more bean plant in there in the center which in beans just like with the spinach that we just planted you can do nine per square foot which I try not to do as many. Six is like the most that I've done before. Uh, just, you know, so it's not crowded and things like that. You can get in there. You can also always be able to peek in and see if there's any weed and necessary and so forth and so on. And so when it's not many in there, you're able to see those things rapidly, quickly, as opposed to if it's like crowded, then you're having to sift through plants and things like that to see what it is that you're growing, okay? Such as these beans. All right, so now we have five bean plants in. We have four of the spinach plants. And now let's go over to the arugula, or excuse me, the asparagus. So I'm gonna plant the asparagus right here in the center of this here raised bed, getting those weeds out of there, because we have some real things that we about to grow in here that we actually want, and not those uh, voluntary or involuntary, or maybe they are voluntary, voluntary weed plants. So making sure everything is how we want it to be. What we'll do, asparagus, you have the opportunity of doing two crowns per square foot. So that is what I have. I have one and then here is number two. And so that was just one asparagus plant that did not germinate, which that is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna do one right there and one down here. Starting with the one down here, make me a nice hole. Get my worm castings, knowing that it is like a grass, <laughs> asparagus essentially. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plant that down in there, just like so. Uh, prepare the other hole for my second asparagus. Worm castings down in there. Just gonna plant that root ball right on in there. Just like that, great people. I'm telling you, gardening is fun, gardening is easy, gardening is enjoyable when you just go ahead and give it a grow. Give it a try, give it a chance. So now what we wanna do is give it a nice water, which I'm using my rainwater that I have harvesting from my rainwater barrel. So go ahead and put some water down to say hello from my asparagus for my spinach as well as for my bean plants which it hasn't rained out here in a while so the soil is dry so this is like right on time not only for the soil but for what is now growing in the soil with my beans my spinach and my asparagus woo woo <laughs> all right great people fun fun times are ahead and make sure you tap in and click that bell notification so that you are aware of when future videos are coming about as i will be showing you the progress of my asparagus which i'm excited to see how it grows what it looks like which i've looked at different pictures on google and things like that to see what it looks like the spacing that may be necessary and how it actually does grow and it grows pretty much like grass essentially and so definitely better look out for how that does how that grows and what that looks like 
in between and in between times in which I have fun more things that I will be using in the garden as well growing in the garden so make sure y'all tap in hit that bell notification smack that like button and click that subscribe button so that you are aware of when those videos do drop okay because I have some fun things that I'm gonna do in the grow bags as well as and the raised beds always some always using those bad boys and in my keyhole raised bed as well so with that being said i love you all i appreciate you all thank you for doing what you're doing if you have any gardening questions please let me know in the comments sections or you can hit me in the email or instagram or facebook group or my facebook page wherever you are i promise you i am there if not let me know and i will find myself there so i can help you grow and garden okay so with that being said i love you gardening family i love you love you love you and i appreciate you all till next time peace happy gardening happy living so you can have a happy belly <laughs> love you <laughs> let's grow